Okay. Hello, everybody. Apologize for the delay. We'll call the meeting to order at 5.45 p.m. Second it. Any questions? Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Passes. Mike Volpone. David Brohl. Celine Mulvaney. Uh, Mark Sant. All present. Uh, Mariah Lucy did let us know she would not be able to be here tonight. Uh, I have not heard from Dave Dempsey, and I presume Melissa will be in probably right before her board meeting, so maybe we'll get to see at that point. Uh, reading the previous minutes, Mark, thank you very much for sending these out. Did anybody have any questions? I didn't see anything. I looked at it earlier. All right. Um, Make a motion. Just kept the minutes as written. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Pass. Any correspondence since the last meeting? Um, so the last meeting there were two bills. Mm -hmm. When I went to submit them, I realized that we were going to have this meeting before that submission date. The next submission date was due, so I had not submitted them. And I just checked. There's another bill from Towson. I need to double check if it's the same bill again or if it's a new bill. Looks like it's going to be a new one because you count balance now 500. No, that's not. We're not that high. There's okay. always a balance that's high. Okay. And then, um, yes, this was delivered on 1231, so I believe it is a new bill. Is that the gas bill? Yeah. And is there even an idea where it's been monthly? Is that? No, because it just started. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just got the place open. Okay. Yeah. What was this month's? This was 228. I think the last one was 168 or 178 or something like that. I don't know. So I maybe going up other than just trying to keep an eye on what this stuff to see next month. Um, so that so I'll add this to the two bills from last month and submit that for Thursday's deadline. Okay. And then we did get um, some mail flying high dogs, which I was just looking at. Apparently, you can hire them for shows. Okay. Um, I'm going to be recording in my meeting time, by the way. I'm this the recreation committee? Are you? Oh, are you oh I'm sorry. The board, 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 the the board, the board, the 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 no. Nope. And then we, I just stop by and we do have our applications from GPS and soccer, which is complete. And then, well, Creighton Soccer's is complete, GPS is it's not. And then he wrote, Jason wrote something at the bottom, Triton Youth Soccer will work with GPS on the use of field floor on Sundays. So I think they've double booked them. So their schedules will look relatively familiar to the previous years. Regarding their hours and yep. that's the question. Do we have anything listed regarding to and numbers? Then, um, and then uh, he has 79. But that's too early for his rosters. And then GPS has 210. I can snap pictures of these and send them to you. GPS has 210? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's double. No, it's not. No. Oh, no, no. It's 105 hours is what they usually need. But it's no. 200, they, 210 they, ap applicants they have. And then they apply it, for the two weeks in the summer. Or does it change all or what? No, it's, they try to cap it a certain number. <laughs> two plus the number of players. Yeah. And then he did um, a separate application for the summer yeah. clinics, which I assume we're just going to charge it. No, it's 210 is normal. Um, what did Trey New Soccer have, you said? 79. That is for the spring. They had 91 last year, 145 the year before that. Any questions, concerns regarding the bills or the different information that's been submitted? 
Uh, no, we'll just have to make a decision in the short term um, what we want to charge him for the two weeks. Well, uh, uh, does he have yes. a credit? We do have the uh, credit from past summer. From this past summer, um, we do need to figure out not just for him, but in general, what we're how we're going to approach this, the summer clinics versus summer activities. Um, and I did put something out a while back to help distinguish between um, activities that people are charging to make money, one-time events versus um, youth sports versus things that require no admission fee. So we have to look at different models out there. Because it wouldn't, in my opinion, it wouldn't be fair for an organization to be hosting a big party where they're profiting and making big dollars and somebody's doing something that costs no money, charging nobody anything to get to come in and they have to pay the same amount. Okay. But then there was a proposal in. We'll take up uh, GPS's information during the new business. You're going to add it to next week? Next week. Yeah. Okay. Old business. Fieldhouse policy. Review legal feedback. Okay. So I printed off that, and that there was only one thing that there was a question. Mm -hmm. The rest of it was kind of... Just clarification. Clarification, which, and it grammar said... Grammar questions. Honestly. So it was in hours, vendors... Um, or concession operator and contracted can establish their own hours that are approved in writing by at least two members of the rec committee. The question is, is this an, on an ad hoc basis? Shouldn't this be done as part of the original permit? Yeah, I don't have seen it. Um, any conversation, comments? Yeah, the thinking behind that was you have a contract, you have set certain hours, but an event goes over where they're expecting to have, once they open a little bit later, they can ask to have that happen. So what's the answer to the question? It's both. We'd like them to have set hours, but there are circumstances that um, there, there is a lacrosse tournament going on on one of the Sundays. And it's going to go on past the scheduled three hours. And so, then we get wound of it. So then we should say, um, if additional time is needed, uh, it should be indicated on the permit. But see, the permit's been submitted. You won't know until the time won't. And that's the question, do we want to draw the line in the sand saying you need to stop here? Permit should be amended. They can come back and amend the permit. That may need to go to the, the Select, but I don't know the process behind it. The, the idea originally was if two people from the rec committee signed off on it, it could happen. And what, what, what could happen? I'm extending the hours? Yeah, so it's that. So if, they, if we're, this is a Sunday afternoon, 3.15 in the afternoon, all of a sudden they're like, or quarter of three, and they're like, we're going we're gonna to run over. We want to continue. They're going to have to try to get a hold of the two members of the rec committee. Just okay, an extra 15, 20, 30 minutes to continue. That is one possibility. The, re, the, the more practical one is because this contract goes out, say, in September, they've already put in their hours for the, the year. Now we're coming into spring, and there's a soccer tournament going on, a lacrosse tournament going on, or extended activity that um, is happening. They can say, hey, look, we didn't plan this. Our permit goes to three. We see the lacrosse tournament's going on to four. Can we, can we stay open to five? Yeah, if there's like a rain in the middle of the afternoon. And so what happened? So are these permits? These permits are given by the Board of Selection or by the Recreation? My understanding is they're going to submit it to us like the field house stuff. Some of others, we need to get the okay from, my understanding is we need to get the okay from the Board of Selection. We're going to show them, here's, here's the contract that we're 
that we want to accept. Because we're not in the position to accept contracts. They approve this relationship. So how do you answer the lawyer's question? We choose the one with the other. All right, that's, that's one option, sure. The other part of it's vendor. And my, I believe our definition for vendor is if a group wants to use it that's not a concession operator. Let me get in terms of that. For example, the cross parents want to have do their sale that we've given them permission. Normally it'll be between certain hours. And we're gonna have that stuff in advance. To your question, Mike, yes. Um, the games can push back or push forward or push back so it changes. They just need to notify us that we know that they're coming in. Does that make sense? So the question is they're gonna have to get Basically, your, your state, they're going to have to figure out last minute, oh, we're going to run over. We need to reach out to two members of the rec committee to get approval. It could be last minute. It could be, it could be last minute, yes. And in that case, they have to make a determination. Is Isn't it only regarding to concessions with that section was? I think that's where that was, wasn't it? What was the question? Isn't it only regarding to concessions? It's not, it's not regarding the overall permit. It's just regarding to concessions, if I remember correctly. Um, it's regarding the session, I think I would recommend putting up the drawing the line saying, saying, you're done here. Give or take a couple minutes, I'm not going to lose sleep over. But if it's regarding the overall permit, then there would just be a be, um, it, if, it's, if it causes another group to be delayed, they need to go off the field. This is vendors in concession area. It doesn't have to do with the team, so on the field, correct? I printed out funny, so I'm having trouble figuring out the format. And I'm trying to pull it up. Where's B? What letter is that? Just because I had somebody I'm not getting the comments. So where is that on the thing? It's under I is vendors. Then there's one, two, keep going down to, to hours, uh, section. Okay, four. I see it. Um, so if we're in, if, so that all these I's are under section B. If concession operator in the field house is awarded, this said contract will be prioritized over other users. Vendors or concession operator, if contract, can establish their own hours that are approved by in writing by at least two members. So this isn't about talking about going over, this is about the vendor can establish their own hours that are approved. Is this an, uh, an on hack, on, is this on an ad hoc basis? Should this be done or as part of the original permit? And the answer to that question is yes. It should be the permit. Because if they're going to sign their hours, we want to need to make sure that they're there. 
There's nothing mentioned about going over okay. in this question. So the answer to the question is yes, it should be part of the permit. And are we going to require them to submit one permit for the season or for each time they use it? If it's consistent across the board for one group that's, okay. if you're telling me it's like, and I'm just throwing an example, if the senior center decide they want to do something, and then we're going to be here um, Monday through Friday from 3 to 6, and then Saturday from 9 to 3, all season long, one would be fine. If they're going to come back with various different things and they're going to have, each week's going to be different, then they're going to have to adjust accordingly. I'm not wrapping my head around this at all. And for some reason, I'm just not. About what? Well, it's just the, this format is going on. I have it on here if it's easier to do. It's not highlighted, though. That's, it just does come up where I thought that worked. It's on the letter hey, IV for hours, which is under section B. Which Why is, is this? This doesn't. This is wrong too. This is. A, we have no section B. We have a field house. A restrooms. So we have, we have so, so section A for field house. A restrooms. C community open space. C concessions area. So that should be B. First of all, that's a type. One's eyes. Yeah, the way this come, came out, because I'm looking at the same thing. This should be. But it's but it's a sub bullet under uh, under vendors is all I'm looking at, and the vendors are listed under the field house letters. No, the uh, concessions area. That's that's the third tab. That's C. Remember, we had it. Restrooms, open space. Concession. concession I, I see. Area. I see concession areas. And so it, that's, it's just not formatted right. That's yeah. why. You, does that make sense to you? It, it does. I just submitted, I forwarded to everybody what was forwarded. We just, it's just a formatting thing. No. I, I don't think it needs to go back to legal. So now we're in concessions area C. Yep. Vendors? Mm. Vendors. Mm, is that the beginning of it? Yes. So your concession areas, then you have letter I, then one and two below that, which. Right. And then under. You have letter I for vendors. Then there's a one what and two below it, which it shouldn't be, because it should be. Well, it should be, because what it should be, you should have, Celine, you should have concessions here, indent one for I, and then one two below that, and then it shifts back up to an A, which doesn't make sense. It's either going to be an I, I, or the first one should have been an A. From a formatting standpoint, it just didn't come over correctly as you as you said. But based on what the question so, is. So we have vendors, I don't know what, area nonprofits, and then special tournaments. Yes. And then we have hours. Yep. And the question is so that the way it reads is vendors or concession operator, if contacted, can establish their own hours that are approved in writing by at least two members of the recreation committee. Well, it's not that they want to establish, they can adjust their hours. I think that's that, that's the problem is that, that it's not the right yes. word. So if it's not established, and that makes a big deal. You're talking to establish their hours and saying, yeah, I want a permit to get the hours can, I'm going to have. Is it the word adjust or what's the word? That Mo it can be modify, amend, but the, the permit has already been in. Mm -hmm. There's right, a change so. of schedule on their part of the use of the field. So they can amend slash adjust their hours. If approved in writing. Yes, if approved in writing by two members, yeah. Prior to the event. Okay. There we go. Other than that, the rest of it's fine. The other, yeah, kind of, except for the, we, we need to go on up on this formatting. Well, that could have been done when the transfer things, the document. So, but, but then, um, Lindsay did have some bullets. Did yes. everybody see her email? Yeah. Um, which is one, first one here, I can't even read. Because it didn't come out right. Was, was, uh, she had some, I'm glad she took the time to read through it. Uh, she's going to be the face so of the This one that says town of yeah. as well. I sent it to her. It's the one that says town of after. Um, please find, that's Mark's, please find it's attached. It came from Lindsay. Yeah. 
want, want the date to show up? Please. It was an email that was sent on um, 1 10 19. Assistant treasurer slash collector. So her question, the first question was the hours of the field house. Is it when the field is available for rentals and events? Is it, should those be the same? I guess is her question. Did you find it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't find hers. That's the last email I had in here. Do you want to pop it over to you? What was the original date of the? Not just her, but what was the original? Came in a little late after the What's the title of the, of the um, email? Questions about proposal. It was shortly uh, after you had your uh, creation. Committee. Because she spelled my name wrong, that's why I never got it. She has M A C Y, not B. I just looked at it. So I did not see that. Um, what she, um, she's fixed it since then. So do you have it right there? Did you pull it up? Yes, I have. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've got uh, my cell phone, Mac B21 at Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So she just has a couple bullets. Well, one, so wait for me. Go ahead. The, the, the intent was to be open during the recreational backslash um, youth activities. If there was a private event that's charging admission, um, for example, uh, Byfield Arts Day, somebody can't come in there and establish Byfield Arts would, be, would have priority over it. Somebody couldn't just come in and open up a, the concession. This is, this is just about bathrooms. This is in the bathroom section. Gotcha. Yes. So she's saying when the fields are available. The bathrooms will be open, and she's right, right. She's correct on that. What section are you in? You're in A. A number three, uh, two. Yeah. And outside handicapped water potty. Am I going down farther? No, up, up, up five. Oh, yeah. It's handwritten in there. Yeah, it's. Feel available for rental events. Tentative fall and spring schedule, and then we put date times. And she said, should it just be when the field is available for rentals and events? But I think we had a problem with rentals and events having the field house open for that. Right? Is there a question about that? They can opt to have it open and responsible for it. If they, don't, if they opt not to have it available, they have to provide a sufficient number of court Yeah, that's right there. Then take document now. Because, like, if. if well, we it's someone like Byfield Arts that have all those people that show up, right. all of a sudden the. The usage on that septic system is right. way up mm -hmm. compared. But it says it right now. Additional time can be accommodated at the discretion of. Oh. Uh, and then events are treated differently. So basically, this is under youth. This is under youth and adult sport leagues. Yes. Yeah. So. When they're practicing, we're going to try to have them open. It's tentative. It's mandatory. That's one of the reasons to have the port of potty there. So it is when the field is allowed. <laughs> yes. Do we want to keep the hours, or do we want to use her verbiage? I like her verbiage. Hers is a little um, vague. Well, vague in a good way. That's wrong. Because yeah. it's not limiting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's something about knowing when the bathrooms are going to be open. But yeah. again, that's why the language tentative schedule. Um, I don't know. Well, we can add it, yeah. or. When fields are available for rentals, mm -hmm. add that in addition. But then, again, or when, there, but when you say rentals, that become is this only for adult and youth sports? Yeah, we should get rid of the rental part. Rental events. Because I don't, I don't want to be so vague that I'm going to have an event and you. We need to make sure that's part of the application, whether they want the building open or not. Which is a whole other basket of worms. 
you. Okay, let's move down. Let's skip that. We'll come back to it. Okay. Skip what? You the whole the whole bullet on the the agenda, or are you talking just no, no, that document? That one. So she's got a couple other. Things. Okay. What else? Uh, I can't read the second one where it says permit. Nope. No idea. Permit holder. She put something. You can't read it either. Yeah. I got nothing. Where, where are part part is it? Right here. Permit holder. See first page. Uh, yeah, I think. Blow it up I, I think what she's looking at is instead of. What we separated the use that during the, the, the adult recreational programming, so we want these hours. But in this part, we're saying we can have additional hours to accommodate whatever this event is. Oh, so she's going back, back, up to, back to here. And yeah. we're, we're trying. The, the way I saw this was for the rec, for the sport leagues. We're trying to do this. There's going to be a separate set of accommodations for it when the whole field gets. Rented out for a okay, different so we type want to of keep it the way we have it. I, I think so. So let's just do that. that was Next one says, do some of these orgs need permits? Trenton Youth Sports Organization non-permit holders. Yeah, well, the, the youth sports that are paying or they're charging the people, they do need permits. That's what their application is for. No, Trenton Youth Sports Organizations. If there's sports organization, I'll give you an example. Triton Youth Hockey wants to use the fields like they did this summer for an end of year celebration. They are not a permit holder, but they are a sports Triton Youth Sport Organization. They would they would be able to access the field house. And another. I mean, it's a broad statement that any any others encompasses everybody. But the idea is saying if you're a Triton Youth program, basketball, you guys get to use this too. Even though you don't play hoop here yet, we, we want to make sure that you're included. So what we say we can always put in the parentheses, non-permanent holders. Example, hockey or basketball where they're not people that use that field, so what he's referring to. Is it non-in-season yeah. hockey? It's a, it's a verbiage thing again, I think. It could be both. This is where I love sitting with the attorneys and just sit down and knock it out. And it's easier than playing back and forth on emails because you don't have to waste some time clarifying the pieces. This is, this is <coughs> Lindsay. Yeah. Triton Sports. Again, the example would be basketball, hockey, Triton, Triton Sports that could use the fields during non-season time. Are we having a separate application for the field house and a separate application for that? I would imagine. We should be. Because during the day. And then if so Triton Youth Soccer has an application for the fields, then they have to have a separate application for the field house. If they want to use it. So. Other than the bathrooms. Everybody needs a permit to use the field house, is the bottom line. Even for the bathrooms? No. Not the yeah. So if you put it saying, if you're doing concessions, yes, you need it because you're opening the other half of the building. Yep. But if you so, use the bathroom, so there is no non-permit holder. Everybody needs to. Yes, but the non-permit was for try non non seasonal. Yeah, the, uh, could you say non-seasonal? I'm okay. saying it's a verbiage thing. Non-seasonal. Non um, seasonal. Is that the right word? Uh, we know that that's the right word either. Because it, it because it makes it sound like it's soccer or lacrosse in the fall season. But the idea is to say, again, hockey, basketball, Little League. If they want season permit holders? Then field use permit holders. Next one they're asking about. What is this field house consent form? I think it's more to an application. It's the application. It's yeah, almost well, like she, she's, she's like, where is it? <laughs> we have to draft it. She's right. It's we another have, application we form. To, and we have to fix the other one. The yes. regular application. So we need a field house 
application form. We can almost use the same one, just just change the verbiage on it and stuff like that. Then at the bottom. You can send form shallow with designated for responsible. Do they, she's just asking, for the responsible adult, do they need to be correct? Yeah. Yeah. On the consent form, the applicant shall designate a responsible adult who shall act as a site manager and gives a responsibility for present all time when the community area or air conception area is, uh, is made available for city work. Can I just go back to what your statement is, what is this right before that? Organize or regular use of facility by group shall require a field consent form? Yeah. You have to make a form. Okay, I, I understand that. Uh, she's asking what the form is, not the statement. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. The next one, does this specific adult need Cory form to use for it? Yes. No. Why? Because they can do it with concession stand? It's a parent. It's like a parent's kind Because they're, they're not engaged necessarily engaged with the children. It's just, it's just, if they're not I, engaged I, with I, the children that way and they're not responsible over them, then fine. Yes or no. But if they are responsible for them, then they would need one. Okay. And then the same way with uh, the don't the managers and people that have to be courted or the parents that are doing D different things are going on. Um, these these are only people for us to have a contact. I don't want to be ch we don't want to be chasing down who, who's in charge here of this program. I don't know. I don't know. We want to have that liaison. That's only between us and who's ever using the field house. That's the next question. Who's it's the recreation committee liaison? Who, who, okay. So we want to have that point person. So they don't need to be courted because they're not dealing with children unless they're dealing with me. But they're not dealing with children. If they are a coach and they are the point person, they're getting courted from a different perspective. So it depends on who it is. It could just be a parent saying, I'm organizing this. Byfield Arts Day, Heidi, who's your point person? So Dave can check in. No. No, not if they say if they are not responsible for kids, they do not need it. If they are responsible, then they, yes, they would. And it sounds like no, they don't. So we're fine. Um, so who is the liaison? It, it's, when we fill it out, we're going to say who's going to be around. Um, if it comes down to a phone call, we'll see who's in town. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And it's, so it's her. The answer to her question is that it's revolving. I think it's probably the person who's closest to the field. That sucks because I may beat you now. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, sorry. no, wait a minute. <laughs> He's close. No, I'm not. <laughs> sure. You're not no, close. I have a different house. <laughs> that may be a true, you know, if that's what it takes. <laughs> uh, no future permits will be issued. <laughs> we're going to measure. I'm going to drive to everybody's house with my car. And I have to go in my side door over here. So. No future permits will be issued to a group or organization to have a great idea unless they have paid. They cannot use the field house. house. So why so would why you? would anything outstanding still be? Still so if they hadn't paid for it, the main thing is just saying they didn't make the, they didn't pay their bill. If there was anything liable from the previous event, they can't do it until then. Unless they have. So why would anything be outstanding? Because they only paid a portion of the thing. It would only be if, it would only be outstanding if they had not completed. If they only made a partial payment at the beginning. No future permits. That's where That's she's right. missing. Yeah. She's yeah. missing that. Yeah. Okay. Good question. All right. And then must uh, fire police fire EMTs have been summoned the recreation committee. Must be notified within 24 hours. So the liaison, yes. 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 The liaison. And we will just notify them. That's the last one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We can get. I'll have Ryan and I'll kind of tread on these, but we do need to work on the application. The two applications. The regular field one, and then the yeah. one that's done just duplicated for the field house. Okay. Can we vote on that now so we can submit it? to um, the Board of Selectmen so we can get on to their well, agenda. Well, okay, the way the, this is going to be phrased is because they're going to have to do the work. We can't, 
make a motion stating um, that it's I'm trying to figure out this phrase is because we going to make sure we do this based on, based on the feedback or make a motion to um, submit to the Board of Selectmen's and, and legal department um, with the amended changes that Mariah, uh, Lucy, and Slim O'Donnell are making on this document. Phrase it however you want to. Just we can't vote on it. We haven't seen it. They have to be done. And are we going to wait for them to come back in two weeks to say, "Here's all the updated changes"? I don't think we need to because we've already agreed as a group here to, to okay it. So do we say we vote on this as amended? Yes. Tonight. Yeah, we've done that with minutes. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. So, so we motion to. Yep. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? Other than thank you both for updating that. She's um, doing it, yeah. No. Sure, <laughs> volunteer um, she sent an email. Uh, no further discussion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? So, uh, what I'd like to do is get it. I, I don't want to put pressure on people. I'm just trying to get it in. Look at the board of selectmen schedule coming up. I'd rather get it to them sooner than later. Because last time we had a document like this, it took um, a month for them to approve it. And until this gets approved, my understanding is we're, we can't. I can go over it on the phone with her. Okay. And then. I just need to put it in my calendar. So. Let me just put it in my calendar. Gotcha. Okay. And so the second part to that is does anybody want to take a stab at the. At revising or modifying the current application and so I don't know if that has we have, to do we have that as a document already or do we have to build it from scratch no I was trying to fiddle with the, with the field one yeah and I was building it from scratch because it's not or, do you have the document already do you still have it on it or are you, are you still kind of like in the middle of it or Then send it to me, send the document to me, and I'll take a look at it, see what I can figure it out. And I'll bounce it back around through everybody. Because so we're going to need everybody to approve it anyway once we go through. So I don't know if that needs to be approved because it's not policy or procedure. It's more of a, uh, a tool for us to. Well, and I guess one of the things would be to ask Lindsay if there's anything missing on the form or on the yep, form that we don't need. Once it's through, uh, uh, you or somebody can talk to Lindsay about the changes and just get her comfortable with with the, the policy so that she can, people, when people drop off, people have questions, they're going to ask her first. So it, some of these questions she might be able to answer for them and it makes it easier. So as soon as that gets in, I'll submit it to uh, the board selecting for their approval. All right, we got 20 minutes left. Let's go knock up to the next thing. Basketball Court at Central Street, capital planning proposal. We It was submitted. Has anybody heard anything yet? Yes. Uh, we should be preparing for a presentation at uh, the annual town meeting. We need to understand how much money we're asking for, mm -hmm. where we're getting the money from, and how much we are using of our own money. How much? Where? What was the last one? How so much money we're asking for yeah. from the town, where the remaining money is coming from, and prepare a presentation to go before the town to um, seek those two, funds. It's two slides. One's going to be pretty much a mm -hmm. money breakdown and kind of what, what the proposal, get an idea of using the sound of the court, get an idea of what it's going to look like, type of an idea, and then the second slide just being how the money breakdown looks at. You don't want to go much more beyond that because you're going to lose them. And I think you've just given the basic idea from there. So talk about what we're doing and, and the money and then break down the money saying, here's where, here's our 
his projected cost. Here's where the projected money is expected to come from. And again, where is the expected money to come from? How much is it coming from a revolving account? Yeah. That we need to agree upon if we're going to drain that account. Um, and how much are we asking from the, for the town's budget to cover that cost? And, or if we wanted to um, say we will raise an additional amount for whatever it is. Well, the, the thing we need to be clear for the board of selectmen is, or from the town, what, are, what options do we have in regards to raising the money? Uh, what parameters are we allowed to? Do we get to go to a Johnson Paving and say, hey, we can do this and have your name on a sign saying um, this is partially responsible due to the generous donations of this, these organizations and have it there so they're recognized for it. Is that acceptable? Will they allow us to do that? Because I think if you did put something like that, it could be considered a charitable donation and, and, the, and the businesses could write it off. Yeah, I think what the town wanted, and you probably have the same idea, is they want to say how much money we're going to ask the town for oh, yeah. and how much money it's going to take from away from us and that's the that's what we go in front of the town with yeah. and then we say that we're at the same point presented to the town yeah. saying we're also going to look to try to get donations to minimize the cost of this. Yes, yeah. reduce, right. co reduce the cost. Yeah, yeah. and it, yeah. it didn't work with the, uh, the... The idea is, the, I hate to use the word worst case scenario, but how much are we yeah. asking for? If we don't spend it all, that's okay. Yeah. But if we ask for it, we take what we want, we, we ask to move the money out of our revolving to use for this particular project, we ask the town for the balance to make sure that we cover the cost, and then we will say we, we will, of course, sort of find other ways to reduce it. So what are we at, 110, 120? Mm, it's, that, it's less than that. No, what was the number we put on the capital plan? The, t the total amount for the project? Yeah. Uh, I want to say 110. Okay. And how much is in the revolving account? You just sent me a sound, it's less than that. Yeah. So we'd have to empty the account and then pull the balance from our account with the caveat that if we could raise the money back, or where would that money go back? Into our account or go back into the revolving account that's for the town? Or we, as, <coughs> you know, like let's say it's, uh, maybe this isn't the idea, but if it's $100,000, we take 50 out of our account and then ask the town for 50? Yeah. And the question is, do we do we 50, need 50 How much out of, is in the account, though? Out of the town. What, what account are you referring to? You're talking about our, our budget and the town approved. That, like, that would no, wipe us out for no, the no, year. No, no, it's not, it's not the same account, right? It's, no. it's, it's been questioned. You're talking about the uh, rec committee budget? No. Or are you talking about the revolving account? The revolving account. The revolving account, if you did 50 out of there and then 50 out of the town? How much is in there? I don't know. I don't but, know. Okay. But does the, doesn't their additional money come from like free cash where that's what we're asking the town members for to vote on? They're, we're not asking town members to vote on allowing us to take money out of our revolving account, are we? Yes, we are. Okay, we did, there's, my understanding, I could be wrong. One is take money out of the re, aspiration, take money out of the revolving account to yep. use it for this purpose. Yep. The second one is take. Add to the town budget yeah. this amount of money yeah. to f uh, to couple with the other other funds yeah. for a total amount of X yeah. to finish to create this project. Yeah, because like when the GBW asks for three hundred thousand dollars for a new vehicle, they don't take from the revolving account. They, they don't. They they don't have one. Yeah, they they ask the town to to the town people to vote to add that to the budget. Correct? Yeah. So we need to know how much is in our problem accounts. Yeah. I think it was like 60000 Yeah, that's what it is. Really? Yeah. Last I saw it, I thought it was like one seventy eight. And that takes, but we need to take away the 50000 that's been appropriated. To the year. Really? I thought that was a sign out of a different budget, not out of that one. That's what we're supposed to see. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's part, of, part of that conversation is, um, my understanding is our 
um, allocation appropriation for next year will not be 50. It will be, my guess is probably around close to 40 based on the amount of income we're bringing in. Does that make sense? So depending on how much, uh, how many expenditures are, again, going back to the spending plan, what we're spending and bringing in will reflect, um, will show us where our appropriations are. Does that make sense to people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't like the number, but I understand it. Yeah. So Mike, would you be able to put together the um, presentation? Yep. I will be asking, we have to have this ready for, for April, correct? Yes. Um, yeah, I would. Oh, we want to have it, but we're going to discuss this in, in the next, the next couple of meetings, just to do it. I won't be able to get it drafted before the February 5th meeting, but the one after that I'll have an idea. I just got to hit with a major project. Okay, can we give it a, a, a target date? Are you going to have an extra meeting in February? Or? I think we're going to have to before we try to get this done. I'd, I'd rather get off the nights with the, the board of selectmen if I can avoid it. How about um, the, the March meeting? Okay. That gives yep. us a lot of time to discuss after that. Well, well, I'll, send sure draft, I'll send a draft up before. Yep. If there's anybody who's got any comments, it's not like we're deciding policy. All we're doing is making edits to a document for presentation. We'll come in here and make a final decision on it. If that's the way we agree on the proposal, and then we can go from there. Um, it's funny because uh, Alicia had asked for the, the revolving account, and all we got from the town was. Our budget. Yeah, and that was as of. eleven eight of 2018. We still had 47. 47,796.40. Spending whatever we spent left. We're concluding at just before 7 o'clock? We have to because we have to be in there. All right. Can I just, I'm not saying you have to suspend uh, the order here, but I do want to make sure we get to alternate this because there is, they would like to reserve the space. We would like to, I would like us to recommend to reserve the space um, so that they can go plan. Uh, they also asked for uh, two weekends. Well, are we, do we suspend to get to this now, or do you think we'll have to The question of it, it's going to be brought up as a motion. I uh, make a motion to suspend the current order of uh, the agenda to address the ultimate disc question. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. All's in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Okay. All right, so let's go down to. What were the dates? I can tell you that. Well, we have priority though. The work committee has priority, and it's working with them and saying, look, we, we need two fields. Um, it can be flexible. We like to do, we would like to do three consecutive weekends having two fields. Uh, a Sunday morning from 10 to noon would is the as the time they're looking for. I don't see that being a problem because I've driven by the fields and I usually have busy. Oh, yeah. Three consecutive Sundays from ten to twelve. To, from ten to twelve. How many fields? Two fields. So one and two. Uh, no, because that pinpoints it all on the cross. Um, oh. One from each. We could do one and two one week, one and uh, three and four the next week, or two and three. If we need to get to yep. just one, um, we can work with that. Ideally, we have two. Um, they're, you know, they have a strong database, which would give us a good, good idea of how many, um, how, if there's interest in the area. If there's not enough interest, then we don't have to worry about it. How do you want to do it? Do you want to do... Well, you can't really do alternating sports because there's three consecutive dates. So if you take one field away from each sport each weekend for two hours. Uh, field five, how, it's two small fields. Do you remember the dimensions of that? Are there any games on field five on Sunday? Is it just practice? 
they don't reserve it by that way. He has reserved fields, GPS has reserved fields 5 and 5A on Sundays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And so has, no, Jason has not. They, don't, they typically don't play the game. They, their games are on Saturdays. Um, and so lacrosse and, and um, club soccer has their games on Sundays. Well, no, he does have fields three and, yeah, so GPS has it. Three and four. GPS has three, four, five. He's circled three and he's filled out four. At another day to, to look at it. Um, yes, we can do that. I yeah. just, yes, we'll so, do it. Yeah, we'll, so we'll figure out what field we'll, later. We will work, I'll, I'll draft a letter letting the three programs that we have, the two programs that we have information from, the two, I expect something from across coming down and say we're, blo we're, we're blocking these out. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think we should just do one from each. Yeah, could do that and then. Should we should we do this on a recurring basis so that if something comes up, that you know like, they don't have the feels for the whole day? Like we, if something like this also comes up where someone wants to do um, a certain field that we have availability for the season, I think we. That's wow. I hear what you're saying. I got to give it some thought because again, just some of this is coming in advance, um, so it's not being in the middle of the season, and hopefully they can make adjustments. We could be flexible with the fields in, in this sense that if we went to say lacrosse and field one is for boys, two is for girls, if they were to have all the boys play on, on one Sunday and, the, and make the girls available, they could move to the girls. The 120 field is the field four, I believe, as opposed to field three, um, ultimate can be a little more flexible. Well, we can leave it up to the user's discretion which field they want to give up. Just give up one of your fields. Yeah. Figure out. Um, Figure out three or four, or one or two. Which one do you want to give up for two hours on a Sunday? Morning? From ten to two. And looking at some of the schedules, a, a, a lot of the games aren't. Uh, things can be modified. I think. So. Go ahead. Going back to that whole thing, maybe I, this is the right time to bring it up, but part of the other team, other team, you know, they're making schedules with other teams in other towns who, who also don't have unlimited access to fields. So we're actually giving our users flexibility that probably other towns don't have. Many of Does that make sense? I, I, I don't know that. Um, I do know working with... It can't be 100%. It's got to be at least... No, some towns will say we, you... You can only have your games during these times. And you, so... you got to figure out... That. And to a certain degree, yes. Okay. Um, I think that... Just a point I wanted to throw yeah, out. Yeah, I... And again, that's why going out in advance saying, well, as your schedule starts coming out, you can start making the calls and blacking out certain dates. Again, so they have the ability to do that and return to other towns. They sometimes have different different rules. Sometimes we'll say, no, you can't, and you have to find another site. Um, Gloucester. Here's when you can use it. If you can't use it at this time, you have to go and they get go to Brookwood, uh, Brookwood School and pay there. So it's... I understand. I guess it, it's not cheap. Brookwood is not cheap. Okay. 
It's up. So yes, we're going to do that. We have accepted it. They've also asked for which pushing. Uh, tell me what dates you want to do it though. Decide the dates right now. Then. It, it, they they are. We are flexible. In the last week of September, the first and two of. It can be the last week of April and the first two of May. It could be the, uh, which I think would be ideal because I think the dirt fields will be dry. No, we Last week of what? April. April. Yeah. Are they only just so it's a Sunday? That's the 28th. Go back to the email and confirm what I'm saying. What, and this is for what? Ultimate disk? Yes. Ultimate disk, yes. Um, how do you find those? Can I get back to you on the yep. exact dates? Well, all right, then we'll just block them in. start roughing in the calendar. Yeah. Do we have to fire our police for five hours? Depends. There's a man before I have a dog police. Fire the police. I'm just like, you have to move that hammer on staff. All right, well, no, but at least we can get back to them with an answer. I think the February school vacation, or the April school vacation is a week of 14, 15. Um, so. The last week would be either the 28th, 21st, or the 28th, depending on which one we want to use. And then after that. All right. Um, make a motion to return back to. Uh, so moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're doing the basketball court scheduling software options. We've got about five minutes. Are we. Okay. I'll leave it on there. Bubble soccer. Uh, tying in with volunteer day, uh, I'll try to get a proposal for the next meeting. Is this going to need the field then? Yeah, we need the field. It'll be uh, during the summer. During, one day during the summer. Okay, uh, it's off season, so it should, should be a problem. Yep. So we'll get that in February, hopefully. We'll see. Signage, I have been by the field. Do we know if it's up? Okay. No, it it's been. not going up now. And you, you it's not going up to yeah. Round office. Yeah. You got the um, the note, the email I sent out that people yes. riding on the field. Yeah, and the the big up. Thank you. Yeah. And they, they check the field house for everything is cold weather to make sure the pipes are good. Uh, frequency of the septic. Uh, that can we don't gallon fifty five hundred fifteen hundred gallon grease trap and twenty five hundred gallon pump chamber according to the town. Um, but we have no idea how often it's going to be emptied. So, at least we know the size. Do you have an idea off the top of your head what a 55 gallon would do? No, how often? Call the subject. Yeah, no idea. All right. 55 right now, nothing because we. Mike, what's the date of that email? The email on the septic size was 12 4. 12 5 was the date that she responded. Um, and we talked, yeah, so. Okay. Um, you responded back saying meeting is happening now is what you responded to her, to her, or to everybody at that time. Yeah, that was for the. All right. So is that Williamson? Who's got who's got the uh, septic for the area? Do we know? Wilkinson. Wilkinson. Did we hire Wilkinson? We, we, I, I don't think we hired anybody because we haven't had to use it. That'd be up for James to figure out. James, no. Do you mind touch base with James Mark just to sure. find out? If it, I have no problems calling if it's Wilkinson, but I just want to find out because we get to say we get a 500 gallon thing. Why yeah. does it normally get emptied? Uh, knowing that it won't be a lot of use in the winter time, it'll get a lot more in the spring and the fall. Summer is going to be in a mess. We're just curious to see roughly for a 5,500 gallon tank um, how long, how often does that usually get emptied? You get, you get me who? I'll, I'll call them. You have to, as long as we sign them up. Are there tank alarms on that? I'll ask. Have you been down the basement? Is it a pump system? It is a pump. Yeah, it has to be. I don't think it's going to be. That's to the leash. Uh, GPS requests, we just got those, so we're going to have to kind of discuss that. No, the GPS request was for the um, credit. Credit. Which is where. You gave them what? I think that's what it was. Yeah. So he gets one week free next year. And what we can't speak for. For the summer. summer. For the summer. Although our agreement was for the next billing cycle. 
Well, he well, wouldn't. I mean, you could take three hundred dollars off the off his bill um, for the for the season. So, so he's going to get billed for the upcoming season. He could do that if he wants instead. Well, the assumption is he's going to be around in the spring. I think he will be, or in the summer. But the agreement, what we voted on, was for the next. Well, that's what the application is for the summer. Yeah. But, Whichever way. But no, he's just, you know he's just talking about it because the first thing, the first business he's going to conduct for this will be the spring season, right. and that's where we kept himself. Uh, spending plan. Uh, I think we need to get an idea what we're going to do with the, the basketball thing before we go crazy. But um, well, let's, let's let's bring that up at the uh, next meeting in February, just so we have an idea of where we're looking at breakdown numbers. We're almost done. Oh, you got receipt. The board's starting, and we're, we're already here about five, six minutes. Thank you, Doug. Um, NRC meeting the spending, calendar. Actually, the spending plan is not has nothing to do with the basketball because it deals with the monies that's coming in. For next year's appropriation, which we may have to use some money of it. It's, it's the, uh, our appropriation. It's yeah, it's our yeah. annual appropriation. It is different than. Okay. And so we need to come up, with, and, and I've sent it out a while ago with some projected ideas and costs. And because again, I remember a couple of meetings ago, you said these are new costs, but we got to look at what our costs are. I right, fiscal year 2015 version three in front of me. I have a budget and I have a spending plan. I don't know the date on it. Okay. Um, um, so we'll discuss. I'll move that up. Can we just go over the Fieldhouse Railing? What kind of railing? new business. Not that, it, yeah. not that code requires it, but one of uh, a frequent user of it was up there recently and saw kids jumping off that. It's that, that high. Um, but his, his concern was look, you don't jump off this, you're going to get hurt. And some kid's going to come up and get hurt. Do you really think a railing's going to stop them? No, they'll they'll they'll, they'll jump. They'll over jump it. off the. I think they'll jump over the railing. They'll jump yeah, off the railing. Like code. And the other thing that maybe an easy solution for this. Again, this is going back to James. He wants to buy a little loan and bring the grade up a little bit higher. But I don't think there's any reason to. Uh, I mean, that's my thought. It's okay. it's code. And oh, I, I understand. We wouldn't be able to open yeah. if it wasn't. Yeah. The idea is if they jump up on top. It becomes a uh, attractive nuisance, and the town can say, "You know what? You know, you jumped off this." If if a if a kid fell off it because he was playing around it, then it uh, would be well. No, it wasn't code, but you know, there'd be a fight. The question is, do we want to spend a couple hundred bucks out of our current budget to put rails on each side and just contain so nobody can fall off? Nobody if we can. Built it up. Dude. So it's flat, so if they're jumping, they're not jumping into anything. What's that roughly, you think? I'd rather do that than the railing, because I think the railing would just give them another opportunity to jump higher off a railing. The railing kind of confines it, now it's nice and I'm just bringing this out. This is yeah. What, yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think the easy solution is there is, like, you know, if someone's concerned, then to put the loan would be the cheapest solution. You know, you're targeting maybe a hundred bucks or whatever. And I start on the pitch. Yeah. And the angle that but make it so it okay. But it is what it, it is what it is. You got you, you can sit and we can put the railing up and say we're doing it, but then they can just jump off that. Yeah. I think yeah. In the back with the retaining with the retaining walls. The, 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 the codes are the codes are pretty pretty just pretty tough. And to stay at that height, we just always fight with people. We you know, like well we're doing decks. Yeah. It's one of those things where you're, you're thirty one or whatever it is. Okay. As long as it's within reason, then okay. the state the state is pretty tough for that. So okay. I was asked to bring it up. I did so. So we're going to look at talking. We'll leave it at talking to James to see if if he could try yeah. to raise it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I have six fifty right now, according to six forty nine. Yep. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I motion to no, make the second of the motion and then. Uh, Okay, give me, give me the motion. You, there's a thing about conflict of interest. Does everybody have their paperwork in? Is that why it's there? There was something on the document and stuff. We're going to have to talk about it next month. Is that okay. We all got an email about it. Uh, when was that? That usually happens when we, we submit. Yeah. January, January yeah, 2nd. July. Okay. January 2nd, it it's, went to all, I, all people. So I. Really? Yeah, I'm going to have to send it because I don't have my, for some reason I can't do it on this, but I'll, I will make sure um, 
I send it up back to the group. So we'll have it for the next meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Motion to adjourn. Uh, second. All in, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Seven six fifty. It's six.